Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. I'm so sorry, it's been like five months. Um, but here we are back again. It's uh, mid-March uh, 24. And um, I want to take you around the garden and uh, tell you a little bit about what's going on. And also the spring mountain that I'm climbing uh, every year, which is Beside me, this is uh, the spring cleaning of the garden, cutting back all the dead uh, stuff and uh, making space again for human beings. So this is, uh, this is only like a third of, um, so this is one of three of these piles that we have in the garden and they are amazing for uh, insects and uh, I'm sure birds are also uh, looking for seeds in them and uh, they are of course uh, slowly composting and I'm just I'm not turning it I'm not moving it around I'm just allowing this to be the insect hotel uh, in the garden and um, as you can see it's a lot <laughs> just a lot and in a way I love this uh, I love this cleaning and I love the cleaning because it's it allows me to connect with all the plants that are growing and this this joy of anticipation of all the beauty that's going to come out in the garden in a moment um, and I get a feel of how things have survived the winter and all of that but it's also just physically really draining i think so um i love it and i loathe it and that's the way it is uh, i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on top as far away as i can get and uh, and then once we are done with this i'll go and uh, collect another one <laughs> It's endless. I think um, it takes me about a month to clean the garden like this and then I have about a month to uh, weed and uh, then I'm planting and then I need a break. So end of May I'm sort of uh, done with the hard bits I think and the rest is more enjoyable in a way and um, but I'm I'm really making good progress this year um as you can see most of the food forest is actually clear now i still have uh, this uh, bit to do especially the back of this uh, small mount that we have in the garden is um, it's a lot but i wanted to show you something that i'm so pleased about this winter i decided to take out all uh, the hazelnuts in the garden and um, it really makes for a lot more light a lot more airiness a lot more space I think and this means that the things that are growing here will have a lot more light to play with and to thrive from so I'm um, I, I actually feel that uh, this process of taking out uh, sort of uh, larger elements like the all the hazelnuts uh, has kind of uh, spurred me on and I'm I'm pruning back more intensely than I have done uh, the other years and I'm it feels like there's more light and uh, space in the garden also for human beings which has been kind of a, um, a problem for the past couple of years because everything is growing so much well actually um, now I think of it I think I want to take you up on this small mount because uh, it will give you an idea of how much dead stuff is actually in the garden <laughs> when we look around this place you see even this but i mean i have to show you these these are the japanese lanterns and i i i always wait with these um 
because I think they are just masterpieces, this filigree uh, beauty. Uh, and as, as you can see, we've got enough, <laughs> um, but they have to go because underneath, um, I have some, some of my early edibles coming up and uh, they need more light, so I have to do it. Um, uh, another big thing has happened in the garden and it all has to do with me having more sort of energy for the big cleaning stuff. And uh, I want to show you a new space of endless possibilities <laughs> that I'm so excited about. Uh, and. Um, yeah, I, I, this is the last bit and then a little in the other corners, but I think I'm, uh, I think I'm uh, in a good space this year. Uh, but we have trimmed back a lot of trees and we've also taken down some trees um, on the whole sort of plot, not only in the food forest. So this is, uh, this is just one of two piles and I'm going to use this for all the pathways. It's, uh, it's going to be uh, quite lovely, I think, and nice to put uh, more ma organic material inside the garden. Um, but I don't think I've ever shown you this corner because it was just piles and piles and piles of half compost and some other stuff and branches. But, and then I had a guy come in with a machine and take everything out in the corner. I had leftovers from all the black plastic that we have used, the used black plastic that we used to uh, cover all the soil for a year in the food forest before I started planting. And it's been sitting there in, in a corner and I, I really didn't uh, feel good about it. So finally I got him to come out, take everything out. So no more debris, no more plastic in there. And then putting, so, sort of making it sort of flat, which means that I can have thousands of flowers and this the, this is the idea we don't really know what we want to do with this space but uh, for this year uh, my husband has agreed that i can <laughs> i can uh, plant a lot of flowers i'm just going to sow all of my excess seeds i'm just going to rake it finely and then i'm just going to use all of my excess seeds and we'll see how it goes so but that's that's good it's a lot of flowers um so uh, that's exciting, I think, for me at least. Uh, but I also wanted to talk to you about this, this very strange winter we've had. Um, actually, this part of the garden is the lowest part and it has been underwater for i think at least a month during this winter um, and we this is the reason why we dug this it's sort of like a drainage pond uh, to take the excess water from this area and just have it in the pond but this year it was so wet and it it uh, so i make excited or interested to see if any of uh, the trees or the plants have actually drowned because they don't of course like they don't like to be in water um, all winter and i've been um, i've been uh, also weeding and uh, it, even it's so wet it's like uh, so wet and uh, sticky and not a lot of oxygen in the soil because it has been submerged. Um, I'm excited to see how this works out. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, 
the, that nature has a solution for this and I'm sure that it'll be better than uh, I fear but uh, it's still it's um, I don't know what to do with this if if the future brings much more water which it looks like it's going to then this will be submerged uh, every winter and it's not great so we have to think about this but I'm still I'm the jury is out maybe it's fine um, but other than that I everything actually looks quite healthy and happy and already we can uh, we can eat lots of food uh, of course we have the stingy nettles they are delicious right now they are just the fresh small shoots and lots of sweet sicily and some herbs and um, mm, I forget what this is well anyway uh, we can always go and get greens in the garden already and I think that's that's one of the most amazing things with with a garden like this um, and soon we will be swimming in delicious uh, things for the salad bowl and uh, yeah I'm just happy and I think it's I like the cleaning it's it's a nice way to reconnect I think so um, I hope you are enjoying your gardens and uh, see you later.